Welcome to Hugo's new video. Today he's going to explore a section of alternative history that has been intentionally hidden from us. We have been conditioned to believe what we are taught or told by historians. If you believe something, it means you've stopped investigating or questioning it. It means any research or thought you'd once intended to put into it has ended. Belief is the end of thought. Centuries of lies have been compounded and we are expected to believe that these so-called historical facts are set hard and fast in stone. These walls of illusion are slowly being chipped away. Welcome to my video. Thanks to be watching. And uh, today we are going to uncover the text I've got, you know, I've got many images, many interesting stuff, the tribes, the 12 tribes. But what is the most interesting, you know, about the tribes, the Celts history, Dariata, okay, but sometimes you want to focus on the text that was written in books. So that's what we have been doing over now almost over a year with friends. They know who they are. Thanks for screenshotting all of this. And we are going to go straight into it. So buckle up. The question now the red haired brownie itself in France. So you see already some very interesting stuff in a book called The Red and Black Cells Galatians. Uh, this is from um, Miles Matisse. That's saying that the word Phoenicia was Greek. I'm gonna explain in a part two of this video. Phoenician were Israelites, yes. Ancient books, Jews for Phoenician. The word Phoenicia was Greek, not used by the Phoenician. They called it was Dariata. Uh, would have called themselves, they, would, they could have called themselves Jews, similar to ancient Israel. Still use the term, I will still use the term Phoenician here, because that's what they're called in the mainstream li literature as merchant princes. Okay, guys, so this stated that. Baalbek was made by giants uh, directly from Atlantis and indirectly from Egypt as a similar legend in Britain mentions the giants from Africa or the original builders of Stonehenge it is possible that the Baalbek platform was set into so I personally think um, Baalbek the, the first cuts are from what they say here like giants pretty unknown, but the temple and etc. could have been made by those Phoenicians, which was actually quite tall and made incredible structures that resisted cataclysmic events. So this is going to the Tartarian history now. Such was a consequence of the Sintian establishment that the period of time between the flood and the commencement of the Christian history was called the Sitian age, so it was not Tartary to my my belief yet, yeah, to what I understand, not my belief but what I understand, the Sitian age. It continued down to the time of the Roman Empire to be considered a high honor to trace descent from them, as appears by the eulogy which Justin made of them. He wrote under Antonius Pius, was little disposed to command to. 
of the barbarians, uh, the Sitchins themselves always remained either free from the attacks of foreign powers. They drove Darius, the Persian monarch, out of Sitcha for a while, I think, after it invaded. They killed Cyrus and the whole army. They fought with like success against Zopiron, one of Alexander's generals, and destroyed him with all his force. They all heard indeed of the arms of Romans, but never thanked them. Never thanked them. More stuff on the Hyperborean side. Druids. Q cells right there, which is with language. And the P cells, as I understand. Venetian origin of the Britons, Scots, and Anglo Saxons. Venetian world original Aryans. With the Brahmins, by the way, who left to India. That's why the Indians say the Aryans. New key Venetians. Reddish. This one is particularly, particularly interesting. So it goes, Sir Lawrence Parson, in his defense of the ancient history of Ireland, has too seconded for the occasional denomination of Feni, Feni or Phoenician applied by the Irish Andalus to the Middle Ancient colony. The Greek says that there, is, there was a king of that country who was called Phoenix, the Irish Phoenix, the one that from him the people were called Phoenicians, and the Carthaginians, Feni, the other that from him they were called Feni. In fine, the Irish say that they emigrated in the time of Phoenix, which according to the history, Irish history, was two gen generations before Moses, thus incredibly. It was about the time of, or some time after their departure, that the country was called Phoenicia. According to every conjecture concerning the origin of that name, and therefore in their ancient records, they called their country and themselves by the ancient appellation Sitcha and Sitchens. You see, Phoeni is an appellation more rarely used by them. So you see. That's the real ancient Tartarian history, but it was not Tartary back then. Now we got William Blake, the visionary poet and artist. William believed that the Druids originated in England and journeyed across the world with missionary zeal to establish the sacred groves on their one true religion. Some readers claim that Blake was a practicing Druid. This now seems unlikely, but he was deeply influenced by the idea that his native country was once the original Holy Land, writing his famous poem Jerusalem to the Echo, that idea that Jesus once stepped upon England's mountain screen. Blake has undoubtedly influenced by the legend that Jesus had traveled to Glastonbury as a boy with his uncle Joseph of Arithmia in more ancient times. The writer, the writer Gordon um, Stachan has suggested in his book Jesus the Master Builder, Druid Mystery and the Dawn of Christianity that Jesus may have returned from the West Country as an adult during his silent years to train with the Druids. At this period of early population, emigrant colonies or settlers in new or strange nations were usually called as they were known by the language. Their settlers on the Red Sea under Neil 
the sound of Phineas, Phoenicia, to already wrote. From Phineas, the siege and so long, the language came to be called Phoenician, more especially after the Israelites had divided the land of Ramites along themselves, which was introduced with them their own native Hebrew song, of which the Canaanian was one of the diversified dialects of Ami. C'est-à-dire, it means the, long, the language Canaanian or Canaanian is this one that we name more ordinary the language Phoenician. I come from Trevu. The substantial veracity of the landing of the Phoenician colony in Ireland up at this time can only be proved. But what is interesting is that they are pretty much the same. From the record or documents, the Irish cannot be improved by the Phoenician records. This is time, Phoenician, the Greeks. But what people need to understand is that Greece was in Scotland. The Greek tongue informers, the British Isle, ancient Egypt, the old Hindus, a lot of clues. Zer says the Phoenician furnished Zer says with 300 vessels. So you see, I already read that before. The history of Sanko Nyato has been always looked upon. Also, the Greek father Theodet supposed the name to have been pictures and in the Phoenician language. The Phoenician, as well in Phoenicia as in Ireland. Okay. So that's the clues we've been, I've been gathering and with other people, some friends. The ancient Phoenician and Israeli decay. This goes to the language now. So pay attention. Any doubt? So now they say with the Tartars because they, they know the Sitian's language was was Tartar come from Greek con translation went the Lama of the Tartar of Cynthia Kabbalistic Jews for this reason the Egyptian and the link between them very interesting this is from the high priest with the Tartars Sitians the, the, oh, there you go. The Tartars call it Lama from the Sitchens, Lam. So therefore, the Tartars came after the Sitchens. This is just a language book. It does not say that the Tartars were there at the time of the Phoenician, it was the Sitchens. So for everybody that is interested in Tartary, you must know that. It was called Sitia of Cimmerians. So there, there are links. The Phoenician, Romans, and the letter with the Phoenician, okay. And then the Basque. Okay, so it's all coming to the Celts history and biblical history. You know, to the Irish. Claims that these Sintians were the Phoenician. You know, so the real history of the ancient world, although everybody speculate, I, I doubt that, yeah, Tartar is, it was just a part of the world where they used antiquity, but it has been used before. And that's really what I find interesting. Atlantis. 
the Greeks who are Aryans from the people who were destroyed by the flood you see as the other death races so after this flood the ruins remain I don't know if it talks about the Noah's flood and now a very interesting stuff about this Sitchens. The pygmy theory posits the idea that fairy faith grew out, out of folk memory, out of a prehistoric Mongolian race which inhabited the British Isle and part of Europe and which died out after the Celtic nation drove them out in a mountain and forest but still managed to mix with the Celts who created the Sitchens, I guess. An interesting corollary that the theory that the Iron Age Celts have driven the population of pre-Celtic, you see, so they were mixed before. Okay, there you say the Varian is that the first Tartar or Sitchens, you see, but I, I I cannot call Tartary was not such a thing before. It was the self history. That's what you need to figure. And nobody, nobody explained this in most of the videos on YouTube. The old Etruscian. You see, Etruscian is very interesting. Part of the Misha. Tribe of Dan, tribe of Dan is by the way the Vikings, mortals and the demigods. Very interesting. Oxygia, the British idol. The island of Dogaland or Atlantis. Explain at Great Britain, beyond the channel, leading to the Faroe, Iceland, Greenland, Estote, Ditland, <laughs> I go far, but that might be the truth. But that's really advanced research. So, this is the best I got until now. Lots of clues everywhere. Phoenicia, Titans, you see. That's why they made huge stuff that we inherited and built on top. Flood of Noah took place in the British Island. So the Flood of Noah is when Atlantis, the Dogoland, sank and some continents moved. Even. So the millions of years theory, pseudoscience, just forget it. Um, mm -hmm. The Brahm, Brahmin, Brahman that went to India. And Japheth, Europe. You see. Some proof right there. Avaris, uh, what's uh, I'm talking about it after. Hyperboreans, Avaris. No creation with arms. The belief of instruments. That's the one you must screenshot. The my friend Alog Sitchens 
from the own Hebrew tongue. Yeah, I already showed that one. Phoenician cult, name of Baal. Yeah. I'll bring from Sitchens from Magog. Tell them Magog. Feed me Phoenicians. Ancestors. So you see, that's very interesting. The breeds in England. The Orgam inscription. You must know what is Orgam. I will present you in the next videos. This is a trickly video for the articles and the text, you know, it's like a bank video. <laughs> Yona and Jesus in ancient Gaelic. The Sitians, King of Syria, Ashkenaz. So the Sitians were by the Maghreb, by the Greeks. Greece being in Scotland. And the gods. So that's very interesting of this. Phoenicia and the name Israel. Mars. Yes, I uh, in the Bible. So this is Jesus. Rome was our irreplaceable enemy for century. Hey, hey. So take screenshots, read by yourself sometime in this video. And then we come to the interesting part. Irish wisdom. Students and investigator that Ireland was the homeland of the Scottic race. That Rome had to contend that she had invaded Britain. Yeah, that's very interesting. And that they were, you know, the Scots Irish. So I provide you with the proof today. What what else can I do? The struggle because the Hebrews had an Irish name come from Eba. Irish name from the Christian Bible did not come in India or from Palestine but direct from Ireland and this great master of priesthood of Yesa. You see, that's the fire. <laughs> that's very, very interesting. The Hindu, the Persian, the Celts, Christian. We are told that the Phoenicians planted these colonies. Phoenicia. The island is the homeland, homeland of Phoenician. So you see. So you gotta rethink chronology, maps, everything. And that's just Phoenicians, Fenians, and that's just history. And that's the, the lie, the big lie. Phoenicians are the Greek, and where, and the Romans ruined with the Khazars. Khazars. So now you've seen 
all of this. I must show you a clip. Enjoy. As already displayed in my previous video, uh, we shall make a quick reminder on a new approach to a new chronology. And that's very interesting for us guys because uh, the chronology we, ha we have is not correct, so let me explain. Already said in a previous video, but today we shall visit the internet to see what it offers for all sets, Phoenician origins, and what led to Tartary, yes? I for Yera on this church. So that's if the Middle Age was like an invention and what happened was like the antiquity instead. But whereas past the Middle Age, it's called the Recentism by Francois de Sars. And if we go to the Russian side, Anatoly Fomenko, right? We can see there's this professor called a pseudo scientific theory known as New Chronology, based on the works of a Freemason, Nikolai Alexandrovich Morozov. But uh, it's not, to, not taken seriously because it's very interesting. So, see this part. Fomenko is a supporter of the drastically revising history called chronology. He has created his own revision called New Chronology, based on statistical correlation dating of zodiacs, and by examining the mathematics and astronomy involved in New Chronology. Fomenko claims that he has discovered that many historical events does not correspond mathematically with the dates and are supposed to occur on. He asserts that all this ancient history, including the history of Greece, Rome and Egypt, is just a reflection of events that occur in the Middle Age and that all of Chinese and Arab are fabrication of 13th and 18th century Jesuits. So he made all the claims, but basically you can situate Jesus in like a thousand years ago and with the old Scottish history. But that's what we are going to see today, so stick with me. In my previous video, I presented to you the work of Comins Beaumont, right? Pretends, the key, the history. So that's a backup for saying that the real biblical land was in Scotland, Ireland to modern UK. Charles Dickens also in the child history of England as some clues, okay? So I'm really showing you my clues today. I'm going to put in like the description of course. So what do we have here? A book, Irish wisdom preserved in Bible and pyramids. That's great. Absolutely fantastic. Connor Magdari. Okay, that's one. What do we have next? We have an article on the pyramids of Scotland. Aligned probably with Jesus and uh, the link between Egypt and the ancient Druids. Okay, so you can read. I'm going to share in the description. So you see, it's all aligned in Scotland. They are aligned. So I'm going to show you the pyramids. Yeah, this is surprise, surprise. 
draw that I end in there. So I'm going to share this article. So now we have Irish Wisdom Preserved in Bible and Pyramids by Connor Magdary once again. Very interesting books. Actually, where can you read it or listen to this reading? Um, and I have so many backups, guys. We have Pray Ebru in Tilskodis by Wedel P. Aitley, Peter Aitley in 1800s. Probably some clues there. You are going to see. It's, it's very interesting, guys. So you see, so the harp, this Israelite were Scottish, Jew, Phoenician, Celts. <laughs> it's all related. And there, the Phoenician were the first to discover the Americas. So we can even speculate if the continents were not linked not so long ago, not millions of years old. That. But you see, they were, they, this speculate that the Phoenician had some business in America long ago, so that's very true. Phoenician can be the continent. I think they even made the cities like Chicago, World Fair, check it out before they destroyed. So you can read by yourself. This looks like interesting article. The Canaanites were the enemies in the end. Okay, guys. Next clue: History of England invasion under Henry II by. Francis Plowden. This is another clue. I'm really showing you the bank of proof that we got. Albion Queens in the Kingdom of Alba. Father, Fatherland. By John Banks. Okay, next clue the, by Raleigh Walter. History of the world uh, sent by the Queen. Lots of clues there for the world. You have Cory P. Ancient fragments. Writing of Sanctionato. That's where a lot of text that you've seen comes from. Then we come, we go to the very interesting articles that offer the internet. In the 18th century, historians discovered exciting proof, you know, like very exciting, of Phoenician Celtic ties and ancient Roman dramatists. So you can read, they are connected. Early Irish Celtic. I'm going to share all the articles, guys. So, by Truth Control, a very good article. It is likely that the city of Avaris in Egypt was first settled in ancient times by the Phoenicians. The Phoenicians have settled at Thebes for the earliest time. And since we understand the Phoenicians to be Aryans, Irish, as well as sun worshippers, we are most receptive. Okay, just give some info. Were the pre dynastic fathers of Avaris and for other ancient Egypt? So I'm trying to do this fast, guys. Phoenician called Israel, Israelites, link with the Phoenician once again. So. It's not easy to research, but you can see it's Ixos Pharaoh. The other title is Rael. So, very, very interesting clues on the internet, guys. I'm gonna share.
or review. So when I was on ancient Hebrew of the Israeli, they mean Phoenician, evidently. You see what I mean? So that's what we do in my videos. I'm going fast, but you can you can read by yourself basically what I do in my video. So next, a Gnostic warrior, very good articles to make. The Druid and Phoenician corpse of Ireland. Amazing, right? I think it's amazing. With the half, always the half. So if you check my video, that's really what I do. I have all of these pictures. So what I really want to show is that I'm not the only one who claimed this. I actually found some interesting websites. Phoenician Menorah of Ireland, I already talked about it. Busy Gods, also good information there in this book. Absolutely amazing, guys. The pigs. Pigs in Scotland. Bluish people. Painted people. But also a bluish of copper blood. Okay. We also have to go to the Turkish history, you see that? It's Turkish, but of course Turkey is full of lies, but they share the same sad history as Scotland. So you see all these articles, I will share them all, all the books. So this is a key art of conspiracy. Oh, the Scottish prince became a mythical hero. You see Dariata. This is the kingdom of Phoenicia. Dariata. And this is so much of an interesting book. The Riddle of Prehistoric Britain by Cummins Bono. It says it all, guys. Of the true biblical lands. So buckle up. Yeah, a bunch of books. Now you think we're gonna go to the Miles Matis, which is also very interesting. And um, Israel and Phoenicia. Spoke different dialects of the same Hebrew language and so could understand each other. So you see a resemblance in dialect. Amitic and Shemit, Shemit rather than Amit. Many colonies were actually Israelites. Now we got a literary history of Ireland by D. Hyde. 
a lot of very good who were the Celts, the Greeks, the Celts, same thing. The Greek, the Hebrides, Greece was in Scotland, original one. And this is the beautiful work of Miles Matisse, of course. I mean, absolutely amazing work. Jew from Hebrew, Israel, and Phoenicia were wiped clean by the senses. We'll have to make do. Twelve tribes, you see, that should end racism as well. Racism because the twelve tribes were colored. So I'm going to share all Miles Matisse's work, of course. Ancient books, I love this one. If we make one tiny suspicion of Jews for Phoenician, you see. The word Phoenicia was Greek and not used by the Phoenicians themselves. That's why we talk about Dalviata. All we know is that they could the Call themselves Jews, Jews, long before ancient Israel was founded. Greater Phoenicia, you see, that's the greater ancient world order. People mistake for Tartary, I guess. The unofficial empire. The unofficial empire is very interesting, yeah, as the new empire. So I'm going to share all these works. We encounter many more places than Phoenicia later. See, but the first Greece was in Scotland. The Jewish pirates. <laughs> you see, and that all comes with the new chronology, guys. The Barbary pirates. Shout out to my friend Alan. Send me this stuff, Barbary Pirates. So, what is tell us our friend Miles Matisse? You see, a lot of cool stuff this year, guys, and it's all backed up. Where did all the Phoenicians go? Did a reset happen? Before Jesus, was it made by man? See people, I don't know, I don't know. yeah, much, much, much information, guys, from us. The Vikings linked with the Phoenicians, the tribe of Dan, it's all biblical through Israelite knowledge, so all of this will be revealed in my description, you will have all the links, so you see ancient map of Scotland, I'm going to share it, and this is the Sitians, the Sitians were Celts, and they were the ancestors of the of the Tartarians, like I explained, and the Sumerians are linked with the Sitians, 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 Sumerians to the Tartarians, and this is to finish that the Queen Elizabeth and Trump are very related, and actually come from Japhethid tribe, you see, but actually from England. I already said that in my past video. This is the Jacob Chilet. You see, now we talk the idol, British idol, Ibernia. So there was originals, Greece. 
Yeah, you must know this one. The declaration of Abdo. Rebel the Bruce. And they are from the family guys, so when he said a couple years back he was, he was going to be president, he was not joking. But anyway, you know, like, the Ashkenazis are Chephesid, not Semites, you see. And they share power. The stone, one fake. I already said, you must watch my previous videos, guys. But yeah, many red pills, isn't it? For the kingdom of Dariata. True Phoenician Celt heritage that builds most cities up to the Americas, to the old world. So I hope you like this kind of way to make video. It was a pleasure to share my files with you once again because that's really what I do, you know, sharing my video, sharing my projects, sharing where I travel, this is really what I do, this is the big goals they were using, you see, I have a huge amount of files that I want to share with Jerusalem was in Scotland, the real Hebrew Celt origin. Um, I have a lot of content to see. So, one to finish the video, you know, to finish the video nicely. You can search for Penn Station. They destroyed it. People know about Chicago warfare all of this but what do you know about this beautiful huge architecture people say it's Tartarian it's not it was probably even repaired then destroyed demolish this beautiful building so this is the history we try to bring to you I try to bring to you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I used to make meme. If a meme is more talkative, I make I made this like maybe like a while ago because people make made this and say like it was Tartar and when it was not. I think it's more like Dariada Phoenician. The Moors made a lot in America, I know, but this is definitely from the South Phoenician. Directly, this one, this one, I, this one not. The bottom of the statue, yes. This one existed. Um, I shared in my previous video. So I'm gonna leave you on this for tonight. And um, I hope you have an amazing day on your journey because I'm having fun doing all of this. I started visit Petra, making videos, and now I'm doing this. But very, very exciting. I make research, <laughs> Versailles. <laughs> Why they never show pictures from scratch, right? So I will leave you on this. I hope you have a very good time during this pandemic. Um, or if you are not being touched, I hope the future that is for us is not too dark. I'm afraid of a lot of things, but it's not the matter of this video. <clears throat> but um. I should leave you on this for today.
I hope you have a pleasant day. Take care of your loved ones these days, these tough days. Um, be careful. Always think. Don't be a sheeple. In La Cache, much love.